Hello and welcome. I'm going to make this clip real short and quick because it's going to be on the start of each one of these videos in round one. Now, what's coming up is I'm going to be putting a load of metal detectors through some basic tests. Now, many people class indoor tests and all stuff like that as useless, don't mean anything. Well, yeah, I'm not finding anything new. That is true. I'm not going to come up with a coin that I've not seen before because I've placed it there. But also, I feel you can learn a lot from tests like this. You can learn about discrimination, audio, and general depth of a machine, and so on. Other bits and bobs. I mean, what I'm using is nice clean soil. Okay, yes, you may not find nice clean soil out in the fields, but I'm going to be adding iron into the mix and so on. Just tests, a bit of fun, and we'll move on after that. But first round, it's going to be so basic. I feel each machine should get a high score, eights or tens. And when we move on to round two, now, they get a bit trickier. I set up different situations where the machines might fail or get low scores, but we'll see what happens anyway. Just test, a bit of fun, and you might learn something on the way. Let's crack on. All right then, so we move on to the dais. Less than cut half. Gonna be just under four inches. Now I can adjust the settings when need be to get that coin but all I've done today we're in days fast and I've roughly adjusted the ground balance to suit the soil there. Less than cut off at less than four inches. Nice clear audio. Now I could adjust that to bring up the numbers, but it's a pass anyway, so there's no need. All right, now we're moving on to the sixpence, right next to the now, so it's going to be buffered up like that. So let's put the now in and go over that first. in a sixpence no display but clear audio another pass that's it with the dais. You can manipulate the settings and adjust everything depending on what you're searching for. Very good machine. Let's move on. For the next test, we are putting the sixpence down at eight inches. In order to bring the audio through clearer, what I've done is drop reactivity to number two. So. Clear pass. Next test. Vicky Penny at ten inches. Another pass. I don't think there's any numbers being displayed. Once again, with the dais, you can manipulate the settings in order to bring that through if you're seeking the deep items. 
bit past anyway. So this next test we will be having the sixpence on its edge like that so we should roughly get a double beep. trickier but still pass. The next test will be the silver ring at 8 inches. No display, we're still getting good audio, digable signal. Another pass. So the next one, we move on to the little small locket at six inches. Another pass for this next test. We have the now at four inches and the farthing at six inches. Now, for in order for the dais to pass this one, I put it in full tones and running zero disc. So we go for the now. The iron. I do love four, four tones. And there we go for a pass. Now for the next one, we are using the now of four inches and the fat Roman down at eight inches. So I'm keeping the same settings. That is fast, full tone, zero disc. So the now. You can clearly hear that Roman. On to the minimalisation test. Now watch the minimalisation scale up the right hand side. That's virtually right near the top. Very highly minimalised brick. As you can see, it's just sounding low tone, grunt iron. Now we place the cartwheel penny underneath and we're looking for a high tone. High tone will pass. And that's without adjusting settings too far or really setting up well for that test, but we've got a pass, no need. Well that is the 10 point test with the XP Dais, and as you can see, we got 10 points. So 
So they have done well and we didn't even have to adjust much to get the targets. And I was pretty impressed on the highly memorized brick grabbing that cartwheel penny. That is a very tricky test. It really shouldn't even be in this round, but as I thought, it's a huge cartwheel penny. It should, or most machines should get that. No, very good machine.